A podium finish for Charles Leclerc was handed to Ferrari on a silver platter in the Qatar Grand Prix. But as the Tifosi have come to expect now, it all ended in disappointment. They lost out on valuable points that they surely needed in the absence of Carlos Sainz, and all fingers point to team principal Frederic Vasseur. What should the Frenchman do to turn things around for Ferrari? Keep watching. Italian journalist Leo Turini suggests that Fred Vasseur might have a few inquiries to make and possibly provide some answers, following Ferrari's inability to snatch points from the Mercedes teammates who collided in the Qatar race. At the Lucelle circuit, Ferrari found themselves with a golden opportunity when Lewis Hamilton and George Russell had a collision at the opening corner. While acknowledging Hamilton's unusual move, the incident led to a playful comment that perhaps Michael Massey played a role in it. Regrettably, Hamilton's race came to a swift end as his W14 found itself one wheel short in the gravel. Regarding Russell, he had to make a pit stop for a new nose and a fresh set of tyres due to the car's damage and a puncture. This unfortunate incident caused him to plummet to the rear of the field. Nevertheless, despite the early race tumbles, the Mercedes driver managed to make an impressive recovery, overtaking Charles Leclerc and securing a fourth place finish ahead of the Ferrari driver. Torini's disappointment was palpable, particularly considering that Leclerc was the sole Scuderia team member to participate in the race, as Carlos Sainz couldn't start due to a fuel leak issue. He shared his sentiments on his blog, writing that, it had already been embarrassing to discover that Sainz couldn't even take part in the race due to a question of reliability. Something had broken on the car, fuel area. But when Hamilton at the start, and in short, it must have been Massey's fault, went crazy, throwing himself at his teammate Russell, well, I naively hoped that the Cavallino could gain a few points on Mercedes. Having been the last one as he was, Russell calmly went to pick up Leclerc demonstrating how Ferrari's journey into the desert is far from the promised land. Ferrari missed a crucial chance to narrow the gap with Mercedes and, as a result, their deficit, which stood at 20 points, expanded to 28 points after the race in Qatar. He added, In short, and without the sake of controversy, Fred Vasseur must ask himself some questions and perhaps give some answers. It's not just the Italian pundit who has raised questions about Ferrari's lacklustre showing in Qatar. Former team boss Eddie Jordan also expressed his concerns while speaking with Talk Sport. He said, We saw a little spark from Ferrari, we saw them win that race in Singapore, and then we saw a couple of little pole positions. But where was it this weekend? Where was it? It's gone. It vanished into thin air. Now, I have a little conspiracy theory there that is always favouritism towards Ferrari at certain races, particularly Monza, and that used to happen many years ago, but I'm sure it doesn't happen now, so we'll leave that to one side. Peter Windsor, the former team manager for Ferrari, labelled it a highly disappointing outcome for Leclerc to be outperformed by George after the incidents he faced. In his post-cutter analysis, he shared that, before the race, Ferrari announced that Carlos Sainz wouldn't be starting due to what they called a fuel system problem. Now, this is a 2023 super complicated, unbelievably sophisticated Grand Prix car. Fuel system problem couldn't be fixed. Carlos Sainz out of the Grand Prix, unable to start. I mean, that hasn't happened for a long time. And of course, I've been around in Formula One for long enough to remember the occasions when fuel pressure problems, fuel metering unit problems, all these things have been solved on the grid and the car got off. Seems bizarre to me that an hour before the race, they said that they can't fix this. Impossible. I can only assume it has something to do with having to get the tank out of the car or something horrendous like that. Windsor, recognising that the SF23 wasn't the most suitable car for the Lucille circuit, went on to single out Charles Leclerc for not stepping up to the challenge. He continued, Charles Leclerc fifth in the Ferrari, kind of as we predicted. This was never going to be a good circuit for Ferrari as it doesn't have any of the things that Ferrari do well and it was a lone performance from him. Very disappointing really to get blown away by George after the incidents he had. Fair enough, they got beaten by McLaren, but he shouldn't have got beaten by George. Not a good day for Ferrari at all. It's a great shame for Ferrari, only to have one car, and for Carlos Sainz to be taking part in the pre-race festivities with a polo shirt tucked into his race suit, not looking very happy, as you can imagine, because this could have been a reasonable day for Carlos Sainz. He might have beaten Charles Leclerc. Who knows? 
But there may be hope for the Tifosi yet. In a rather unexpected turn of events, Max Verstappen recently made a surprising statement regarding his potential long-term interest in joining Ferrari. He shared his thoughts on the matter with various F1 news outlets. It's worth noting that Verstappen has a substantial contract with Red Bull that secures his position within the team until at least 2028. Despite this, the world of Formula One has been abuzz with speculation about his future. Verstappen often grabs the spotlight with his candid remarks when it comes to questions about retirement. At just 26 years of age, there seems to be no compelling reason for him to consider stepping away from Formula One in the near future. In general, the idea of Verstappen retiring prematurely is missing a solid foundation. Although the Red Bull driver has diverse interests outside of racing, it's too soon to entertain the idea of him seriously contemplating retirement at this stage, despite him making comments that seem to encourage the thought. Plus, Verstappen has openly discussed the prospect of driving for Ferrari in the future. While he remains committed to Red Bull, his recent comments indicate that joining the Maranello team is one of his ambitions. He told Sportsweek. It has an incredible history in this sport and is a great opponent to compete against. Future at Ferrari? When my current contract expires, I will be 31 years old, and I think I can still do well. I would like to keep, for my personal collection, the three single-seaters with which I was world champion, but also Michael Schumacher's F2004. It's a fantastic car. However, I don't know where he buys it. Is this an appeal to John Elkin? Absolutely yes. I hope he reads the interview and calls me. A potential move by Max Verstappen to Ferrari could send shockwaves through the Formula One world. While we shouldn't get too carried away with hypothetical scenarios, there's no denying that his overall legacy would be significantly enhanced if he were to achieve victory in the iconic Ferrari Red. The question we should be asking is, should Verstappen decide to take his talents to Maranello, who would be riding alongside him? Carlos Sainz has openly expressed his desire to remain with Ferrari for what he terms the medium to long term. He's optimistic about reaching an agreement to extend his contract with the team during the off-season. Over the past three years, the 29-year-old has been a part of the Ferrari team since his transition from McLaren in 2021. During this period, Sainz has frequently found himself in a supporting role to Charles Leclerc. However, he has recently managed to earn the respect of the team by outperforming his teammate on multiple occasions. After securing his first ever Formula One victory at the 2022 British Grand Prix, he has continued to build on that success with an additional win, five podium finishes and four pole positions. The Spaniard has had a remarkable season thus far, highlighted by his outstanding victory in Singapore. This achievement distinguishes him as the sole non-Red Bull driver to claim a race win in the 2023 campaign. With just five rounds left in the season, Sainz currently holds an eight-point advantage over his teammate. He's determined to secure a finish ahead of his Monegasque counterpart, marking the first time he outperforms Charles Leclerc during their tenure together at Ferrari. Currently, both drivers have contracts in place until the conclusion of 2024. Nonetheless, the Spaniard has made it known that his preference is to secure an extension before the commencement of the upcoming season. In a conversation with Sky Sports leading up to the Qatar Grand Prix, a race he unfortunately couldn't participate in, Sainz expressed his keen interest in staying with Ferrari. He said, I think there's never been a doubt that I'm very comfortable at Ferrari, that I want to be here for the medium to long term. Also, the fact that there was always high confidence between each party. For me, the wins and podiums, the only thing they do is reassure everything that we already knew. What do you have to say about Ferrari's recent performance? And is Max Verstappen the solution to their problems? Tell us what you think in the comments section down below. And, as always, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Thanks for watching.